Welcome back, everyone. Today is probably a moment a lot of you have been waiting for. We are going to talk about the future and how Golden Life is going to be very soon. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and bring in our guest for today. Standing at 5 foot 9 inches tall, weighing 164 pounds, he got kicked out of the house by his parents for being an annoying troublemaker. It's Ren, or Joker, for all his little weird fangirls. All right, bro, I'm out of here. I told you to stop fucking disrespecting me. Come on, Ren. How many times do I have to tell you it's just a joke? I swear, man, these kids nowadays are as sensitive as ever. I remember the golden days back in 2011 when you could almost say anything without someone getting triggered. Man, I wish we could just go back. At least I know I'm going to get a remake unlike a certain someone I know. I know you're not talking about me, because my game will stand the test of time for many years. I still have one of the most beautiful games on the market, and no one can deny that. So what are you two trying to say? I'm just some piece of trash that nobody cares about? Yeah, just go away. Go wipe out somewhere else. Wait, no. That's no what we're trying to say, Katone. It's just... We all know that you're never getting a remake. Well, definitely not in the next five years, that's for sure. You both better watch your damn mouths. You don't want my army to be unleashed on you, because trust me, things can get ugly. Well, since Persona 6 is going to be the next mainline Persona game, I wanted to hear everyone's thoughts and wishes for the game. Thank you again to everyone who left a comment for us. Your feedback is much appreciated. All right, top comment says, for the Persona fan base to be patient and respectfully wait for the game to come out. You have to be joking, right? At this rate, I'm gonna be 60 before Persona 6 comes out. I mean, Persona 5 was originally going to be released in winter of 2014, but instead got moved back to a 2016 Japan release, and it took till 2017 for a worldwide release. I say all this because holy shit, we are nearing a decade with no new Persona game. And now I wonder would Atlas do a Japan-only release like they did with Persona 5? I think it would be dumb, but it could be very possible. I mean, that would be an Atlas move, like bro. Did you see they re-release IG as the first mission? But here's the catch. It's a goddamn flip phone game. It costs damn near $20. And the game is only in sub. So if you want English, we'll get ready to download a mod oh, buddy. and let me not forget to mention if you want this game on your Nintendo Switch, you will need to make a Japanese Nintendo account to buy it on the eShop. And even if you get it, you will still need to learn how to read Japanese because there is no English translation anywhere, buddy. Honestly, hear me out on this. What if Atlas came back to all these ideas and make like some sort of Persona 3 prequel remake? Because I really feel like there is a lot of gold and just great moments we have not seen in P3, especially stuff that take place before Yuki's arrival. You mean my arrival? You know he isn't the only P3 pro tag, you know. I swear none of you know how to put respect on my name. Just calm down and relax, Katone. Jesus, you're always about to blow a damn fuse over here. I don't know why she's even still here, bro. Like, damn, this motherfucker is annoying. So what? What do you want to do, Ren? You better shut it up or I will knock you clean out. I swear you are so lucky I am a gentleman, so I would never put my hands on a lady. Yeah, you're all talk, no smoke. All right, let's take another look at our community. Kit Kat says, please let there be no mascot in the vein of Teddy or Morgana, and maybe an adult cast. Huh? What does this even mean exactly? I mean, we all know Persona 6 will not be an adult cast. I highly doubt Atlas is going to stray away from the high school setting, especially after the huge success of my and game. what do they mean by not wanting a mascot? Every game since Persona 3 has had one, and I really enjoy every single one of them. Shoot, they even gave that P5 Chinese knockoff Not one. all mascots are animals. I mean, just look at Persona 3. At first glance, if you played P5 and P4, your mind would automatically think Koromaru is the mascot of P3. But the truth is, Aegist is the mascot of that game. I mean, like, have you seen the Collector Edition? Mascots can be more than just animals. I know it's very common to just see an animal as one, but Aegist fits the theme of the game perfectly in every way. So please, Atlas cook up another mascot that isn't an animal. I beg you please. Huh? Dude, what the fuck was that? Huh? Ren, are you okay? You two don't feel that? Ah, the pain! Dude, are you okay? What the fuck happened? Every time I look at it, it gives my head such a sharp pain. What? What does? Ren, you're really not making any sense right now. There it goes again! There's so many of them! It won't stop! Alright, I think you really just need to take a break, man. There's literally nothing here that can hurt you. Well, besides me and Katone, of course. You don't understand. It's the one thing all us Persona fans dread deep down. Something we can all agree on even though we don't want to admit publicly. Something so damning that it would ruin Sorry, us. Sorry, Ren, but that sounds like a you problem. I burnt all my dread years ago. What could possibly be so bad? I really don't understand what you're trying to say right now, Ren. I can believe I'm really gonna say this. But people want another female protagonist. 
You know, I honestly get why most people call your game and fan base annoying Ren, cause what the fuck, man? What? We share the same fan base. What are you talking about? There's Lo and then there's Rin. And honestly, I think I like Persona 5 a little less now. Whatever. But every real Persona fan knows they do not want a female protagonist for Persona 6. I honestly think their sales will plummet if they do that. All right, bro. You're really towing that line right now. Like, I would really choose my next words wisely if I was you. Because, man, I don't want to see you get canceled. Me canceled. You're funny. Without me, none of you would even be known right now. I put you in this series on the map, so I think you're going to have to do better than that to cancel me. What? All right, kid. Get the facts straight without me and Katone. You wouldn't even have been born, Ren. If our games weren't good, then you would have never ever seen the light of day. So just remember and that. And without me, you wouldn't even be known, Grandpa. Both your games are just old looking and dusty. Just let me Armageddon this kid once, please, I beg you, you! I'm so tired of Ren running his damn mouth! Now, let me get a piece of that with you two. Cause I'm tired of this motherfucker running his mouth so much. Oh, so you two are trying to jump me now, huh? Well, this alone should prove who is better and don't worry him leaving cause you two don't know how to respect the goat, so goodbye, losers. <laughs> Welp, Katone wanna end it off on one last take from our community before we go? Yeah, why not since Ren wants to be such a lame and run away like a little girl? Alright, let's see if I can find one. Hmm. Oh, would you look at this? This guy wants a Junipei cameo. Junpei? All the characters, why Junpei? I mean, he is the homie and all, but like, I think a Easter egg is fine enough. I mean, he is the man. Katone, you gotta give him that. You did someone called a man? Heard a party going on over here and decided Sukasa is Mikasa. How are we getting this party started? What the fuck? How, How did, did you, you get, get here? here? Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe button. We are only getting closer and closer till we receive the answer. Love you all very much and have a wonderful day or night, everyone. We will all see you next time. Stay well till then.